Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to do a little different video than normal. Uh, this is gonna be less produced than you're used to uh, seeing on this channel, but I just wanted to kind of show you some of the things that I do with some of the tools that I talk about on the channel uh, on a regular basis. Uh, so I'm gonna be looking at things like Matter for my reading, uh, just articles from the web. I'm gonna be looking at highlight syncing and how my highlights from those articles sync over to Obsidian, uh, which I use for um, getting just my thoughts into one place and then how I use that to create blog posts for my website uh, using shortcuts, using the shortcut launcher uh, plugin for Obsidian that was created by Mac Stories folks, and how that works with Ulysses, and it's just a whole thing. So I'm basically talking about Matter, uh, Obsidian, shortcuts, uh, Ulysses, Ghost for my website, um, a whole bunch of different things that I talk about in different videos, and I wanted to show just kind of how I bring it all together. So again, this is going to be more of just a stream of consciousness, kind of showing you what I do, but hopefully it'll be interesting. So I am going to show you my iPhone here, uh, but I usually do this on my iPad. Um, but yeah, I am in Matter right now, and I'm basically just like reading articles and stuff, and when I find something interesting, I can go ahead and highlight it. Um, and so I'll just kind of select it, make this a highlight, and I'm done. So we're going to put the iPhone away. That's really all I need to show you with matter. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just move away from the iPhone and let's go into Obsidian on my Mac. So I'm going to launch Obsidian and you're going to see that I have a uh, vault called reading list pulled up here. Uh, it's syncing with matter. You just saw a notification there. And here's the article I just highlighted and I can see kind of some metadata on it. Here's the title of the article, the URL, the author, um, and then the thing that I highlighted goes right here. So this is really useful for me when I want to create link posts on my blog. I read things in Matter, and then I can get all the things that I think are really interesting, the pull quotes that I think are really cool, get them into Obsidian, and now I need to get them out of Obsidian and onto my blog somehow, right? And so the one way to do this would be to, um, let's go into Firefox, and we'll do uh, uh, Birch, oops. So we'll log into the back end, and we will go to um, basically make a new post. And then I would have to kind of just kind of go back and forth. And so like, let's say I just wanted to use the title they have. I would copy this, paste it in there. Um, here's the URL, so let me um, go ahead and select the whole URL, and then I could uh, say, uh, geez, I don't even know. Um, so actually the same thing. So settings are not a design failure. There we go. And then I would do the pull quote. So copy this, paste it, and make it, oops, make it a quote. And there's my link post, and then I can go ahead and publish it. Um, but that's kind of manual and it takes a while to do. Not a ton of time to do, but it's if I'm doing a lot of these, it's going to take longer than I wish it did. So let's hide Firefox for a second. Um, and what's the way that I do this today? So I'm gonna to show you what I do and then I'll show you how it works. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, pull up the action launcher. And uh, you can see it here already, uh, linked list post is the shortcut launcher item that I use. So I'm just gonna run this. It's going to ask me for a post title, and again, I'm just going to use the same one. There we go. And here it is in Ulysses. It's formatted exactly what I did in my ghost site. I can hit publish, um, and we'll do a little later today, right? So publish it. Done. And if I go back over to Firefox, reload the page, there it is. And it's basically, it's literally actually exactly what I did in the, uh, the first one. I'm going to delete this because I don't actually want to post this right now. Um, but yeah, that made it a lot easier. I was basically able to just say, ooh, this is one that I want to share in my blog. And I was able to just do this, uh, linked, enter, boom, give the post a title. And I've created a Ulysses document uh, that works great, right? So um, let's go ahead and delete those. And so how does this work? So this is using a couple different things. Um, the first thing I'll note is that I actually had to modify the uh, uh, the matter sync plugin for uh, Obsidian <laughs> to make this work. So this title actually doesn't come over in the default way that it works. So it'll sync over everything you see here. This will all sync over the URL, the author. There's also a posted time like on this one, or there's a published date. I don't know why it doesn't come over for this one. For some reason it wasn't there, but anyway. And then all your highlights are here. So if I go down here, like you'll see like this one, I had two highlights. They show up as different um, items. 
But anyway, um, it all comes over, but the title wasn't there. And I needed the title for the way I format my posts. I want to link, like put the link to the site as the title of the article. Um, so what I did there is I actually, um, I have, this is my Obsidian couple vaults. Uh, so they're in iCloud Drive in the Obsidian folder, so they sync across my devices. So this is all accessible on my iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Um, but this is the reading list one, right? So reading list, and you can see there's one note here, and then I have highlights, which is the folder I'm in, and these are all the um, ones that I've got, right? So this is exactly what you see in Obsidian, just different. But I had to modify it. So this is going into the weeds, <laughs> but basically, um, I wanted to, let's see, how do I do this? I want to uh, open Nova, and I've actually already done this, um, but let me just open this folder in Nova, go to the local files, and you'll see kind of that same thing. There's just this file, and then there's the highlights, and I can just see them all here, right? Um, but what I want to do is edit the plugin. So if I right-click over here, and this is going to be different in whatever text editor you use, but I'm using Nova right now, um, there's a show hidden files option. And now I see this dot obsidian directory. And if I go into here, there's plugins, uh, there's themes as well. Um, actually, I'm using the one called primary, uh, just a quick sidebar. Um, this is definitely not the default look for obsidian. Um, if I go into my settings and then go to appearance, uh, you can see I've got some themes. If I manage them, um, there's a few that I have installed over here. These are the three that I have installed, um, but you can, Actually, sorry, go down here to community themes, search for whatever you want. Um, but yeah, mine's called primary. Um, I didn't make it, I just use it, but it's really, really cool. So um, primary is the one I'm using. So let's get Obsidian out of there first. Um, but yeah, what I want to do is go into the Matter plugin. And then in the Matter plugin, this main.js, this is the one that actually does like the API request to Matter to get all the uh, highlight information. So I'm going all the way to the bottom, and you can see this is where we kind of uh, create the um yeah render feed entry so this is basically the function that writes like metadata and then highlights and like all this stuff right and you can see like the url the publish date the author and that's all the stuff that shows up here um so what i had to do was add um da -da -da, where is it so i had to add the title so here we go so i basically added this to the front of the metadata um normally what it looks like is this, I think. Um, yeah, it looks like this by default. Uh, it just starts with the URL under the metadata, um, and I wanted to add the title. So not getting into exactly how this works. It's just some JavaScript, basically. Um, but yeah, I had to modify it a little bit uh, just to make this work how I'd like. But let's get out of here, because that's really all we need to look at in uh, kind of the plugin code. But yeah, long story short, I got the title into obsidian as well when it syncs everything over and you can see it's here for all of them so um how does this work so if i hit this and do this shortcut launcher for linked list post so this is using a plugin that was developed by um, a couple of the folks over at mac stories uh, i think federico vatici um john Voorhees and finn Voorhees, uh john son um, i think all kind of worked on this uh, but basically if you go into settings uh, there's community plugins and from here, you can go ahead and uh, browse community plugins, and you want to go for shortcut launcher. And so here it is. Um, I've actually already got it installed, um, so I don't need to do anything. I can update it, but I'm definitely not updating it while I'm recording, because <laughs> that's definitely going to make things uh, more likely to break. Um, so I'll update this later. Um, but yeah, the general idea is that you want to get that installed, and then uh, we're going to go down here to once it's installed, you'll see it in your plugin options, and we have it here. And I've already created two, actually this one's a duplicate. Um, and basically what you wanna do is you wanna create a new launcher. There'll be none here by default, so you have to create a new one. So uh, you wanna give it a command name. So that's gonna be what you type into the Obsidian command bar to pull this up. Um, so we'll do, we'll do blog post, right? Um, so we'll call it blog post. Uh, then we need to give it a shortcut name. And so I need to give it the name of whatever the shortcut is in the shortcuts app. So I've got it pulled up here and the shortcut is just called link post. And I'm gonna open it up and just copy that to make sure there's absolutely no typos, link post. So when I call the blog post um, command in Obsidian, it's gonna run the link post shortcut. Now the last thing I need to do is set an input type. So what am I feeding into the shortcut? 
Um, cause right. So if I kick something off from obsidian, I want to pass something over to the shortcut to do something with that specific note. And there's a bunch of options here. So I could do the selected text, um, a selected link, the paragraph I'm on, the whole document, a link to the document, multiple things, comma separated or using whatever, um, delimiter you want to use. Um, I'm going to do the entire document. So I just want to pass the entire document into shortcuts and I'm just going to save it. So now I'm looking for blog post, right? That's what I'll type into here. So uh, if I go to command P and then do blog post, there should be one result, shortcut launcher blog post. Now, before I run it, let's go and look at the shortcut because <laughs> you've already seen a piece of it. It's pretty, it's not very pretty, um, I'll say. It's a little complicated. It's using a lot of regular expressions. Um, so let me show, um, Let's see, I'm gonna do uh, display, show result. Okay, so the show result action is gonna be good here. So basically I've got this shortcut set up to receive actions, um, and then I'm going to just throw this here. Um, but basically that's set up over here. You just wanna make sure that to use as a quick action is enabled so that you can um, tell the shortcut that it's going to be expecting something to be passed in. So. Um, let's go back to here. Um, I'm going to show the shortcut input, and then I'm going to show an alert right after that. And do you want to continue, yes or no? So, okay, so this is actually just going to let me stop the shortcut before it runs fully. So um, let's go ahead and do Command P. We're going to type blog for blog post and hit Enter. So now this is what I'm passing into the shortcut. So it's exactly what you have in the Obsidian document, right? It's just unstyled, markdown, there you go. So that's what's being passed in. Do I want to continue? No. So um, so that's what's getting passed in. Now I need to kind of modify that and pull things out of it to uh, get the things that I need for my blog post, right? I need the name of the article. I need the link to the article. I need the quote that I have, right? I need all those things. So what I'm doing is I'm using some regular expressions, which I had to Google, um, and just kind of copied and pasted in here and kind of tweaked them a little bit to my specific needs. So I can't explain exactly how they work, <laughs> but um, basically what I have is it's looking for URL colon and then an open bracket. So that's looking for this, and then it's copying everything or saving everything between that and when it finds the first bracket after, or closing bracket after that. So that grabs the URL and I'm saving it as a variable and shortcuts as URL. I do the same thing with the title. Um, I also do, I save the title twice. That's not really super important. Um, I save the title as whatever it is. So like in this case, um, they don't title case it. They just uh, capitalize the first letter and then it's all just sentence case after that. Um, so for when I put it in the body of, and I can't show it, but when I put it in, a, in the body of the post, I wanna use their capitalization. So I just save it exactly how they write it. Um, but then I also want a version of it that's formatted. So I capitalize it to title case to make sure it's consistent with um, what I have for my like post titles. Not super important, but that's what I do there. And then I do the same thing with highlights. This one's a little more complicated because I couldn't figure out the <laughs> the um, regular expression to pull um, like this and then do a new line and then a star and then um, a space and then just everything after that. I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I was able to do a regular expression to pull all of this. Um, so let me pull these side by side so you can see exactly what's going on here. So I was able to do a regular expression, which was this, to pull in everything I've got highlighted here. Then I used the split command in shortcuts um, to split this into multiple lines. So basically this creates an array um, or a dictionary. I don't know exactly what uh, shortcuts will call it, um, but it basically creates an, uh, an item with two values in it. So the first value is the first line, the second value is the second line. If there were more lines, there'd be more sections, but I know there's like section one and section two, right? And then there's a command to get the first item, last item, a specific number in the list. I just know this is gonna be the last item. So I say, just get the last item from the text that I just split. And then I use the text replacement tool in shortcuts to find the star space and just replace it with nothing. So basically um, I first get this, I split it into two, and then I say, just look at this. So I'm just looking at the second one. And then I say, uh, remove the star space. And then I just have the quote. So it's a very messy way to do that. I'm sure there's a way to do a regular expression that would cut out these three steps that I had to do here, but it works. So I'm just keeping it. <laughs> and that's saved as a quote variable. Then I do an alert. I ask the user for 
text with the post title. And you can see I put the default answer as the formatted version of the title. Um, so just I have something there as a default, or I could change it, whatever I want. And I set that to the post title. All this gets combined into text, which is just markdown formatted, uh, a header, a link, and then a quote. And then I share that to uh, Ulysses, where I create a new document. I make sure the text is formatted as Markdown so that Ulysses knows how to parse it correctly. And then I open Ulysses. So lots is going on here. <laughs> but the gist is, just to kind of like go over it uh, just quickly at the end, um, it's going to take the input. Um, I'm going to delete these two steps we added. So we're not going to show anything. Um, and it's going to just take the whole contents of the note. So it takes everything. I do some regular expressions to pull out the URL, the title. Uh, the highlight that I have, which will be the quote. And then I prompt myself to give the post a title, and then I combine it all into one thing, create a sheet in Ulysses, and open Ulysses so I can publish it quickly from there. So um, if we do this one more time, I'm going to do this. I'm going to type blog, enter, and now it's just going. Um, settings are not, let's just do always, right? Just so you can see that this is actually doing something. Save it. Settings are not always a design failure. And then I just go through the Ulysses interface of publishing. Um, I might be able to automate this somehow. If I could figure out how to use the Ghost uh, API, I could do this definitely straight from the uh, straight from the shortcut, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, so this is still a manual thing, but I can just publish from here and I can go through all here. Like I could add the link tag. I don't think there's a way for me to do that in shortcuts right now, but yeah. So that's how all that works. Um, also, in case you were wondering <laughs> this, uh, theme that I have in Ulysses, uh, if I go to markup, um, there's one called movie stars. So you can go to add themes or get more themes. Um, if you go to this, it's a link to a directory of just a bunch of ones that the uh, company who makes Ulysses has chosen. There's a whole bunch here. I've added a couple over the years uh, that all kind of look pretty cool. I really liked, um, what's the other one I've been using recently? Um, I've used Outback for a while. New Wave 80s is pretty good. Um, but yeah, Movie Stars is my current favorite. But anyway, um, just because I know people like themes. Um, also, my wallpaper is... Hide this. Hide a ton of things. Uh, my wallpaper is from a collection that Christopher Lolly, a friend of mine, made. Um, he's another YouTuber, does great stuff. You should check him out. But um, I'll put a link to that in the description. Not a sponsor or anything, but no one's sponsoring this video. <laughs> no one would sponsor a video quite like this. Uh, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically it. So my workflow is I read in Matter, I highlight things, and then they sync over to Obsidian. I guess one thing I could, geez, one thing I could show is how this works on my iPhone. So I'm just working live from my iPhone. Um, if I go to Obsidian, and so this is all going to sync over perfectly because um, I'm storing, as I showed on my Mac, my Obsidian Vault is in iCloud Drive, and iCloud Drive can sync over to um, your iPhone and your iPad versions of um, Obsidian. So it works really great. Um, but I can basically go into that same article. It looks exactly the same. And if I pull down to pull up the command thing, I can do blog, right? And there's the blog post. I hit the thing. We launch shortcuts. Settings are not a design failure. Cool. There we go. And it should open Ulysses. And it'll just open to the inbox. Give it a second. <laughs> Ulysses sometimes takes a long time to load. I don't quite know why. But there it is, it just created, and it's exactly what I saw on my Mac. So as you can see, I kind of made the shortcut on the Mac. I built it out and like did all the regular expression stuff, all this fancy stuff, and like said, open Ulysses, which is Ulysses for the desktop. And it just worked on my iPhone, my iPad. I didn't have to sync like manually, like add the plugin to my iPhone. I didn't have to manually like change the shortcut to work uh, on the iPhone and the Mac. It all just worked, which was really great. That's not always the case with shortcuts, but it worked in this case, and I'm really, really happy about that. So yeah, it's just a little thing that helps make my workflow easier when I'm kind of just wanting to post things to my blog really quickly. It makes things really easy to do that. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was interesting and entertaining a little bit at least, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it gives you an idea for some of the real world use cases I have for the things I talk about on the channel, and maybe it'll give you some ideas for what you can do. So. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time.